sing in the Holy Ghost tonight. Resunda lo boti ande, lele mandro si to la mandro si ande a, lele olo lo ti at sondo lo li mandre su, yele mende ala bakondo lo sondo lo si ande, ivamo si ande. Namano si o mone ano se Oh the glory realm The glory realm is open for you The glory realm The glory realm is open for you Step in Don't be afraid The door has been open for you tonight oh begin to sing a new song oh and walk in walk in walk in tonight the glory realm the glory realm how many want to experience the glory realm come on lift those hands and just begin to sing in the spirit oh it's for everyone it's for everyone not just a few it's something that you all can do, you all can do. You begin to play, I'll follow you. Just play, I'll follow you. Just play what the Lord gives you. It doesn't have to be anything you know, just flow. Worshiping him.
your hands and let me breathe on you today. Oh, lift your hands. I begin to make a brand new way. I begin to release a new river on you today. I begin to cause you to walk in a brand new place. So how many believe it tonight? Oh, come on, lift your hands and let the Lord sing over you. Let him sing over you. Let him sing over you. A new song of love. A new song over your life. It comes today. I release it today. Oh, oh come on now. Lift those voices and begin to let those rivers flow. Out of your belly, come on. Oh, la nando rosiane, i la mando se no lo limando, i a no siane, o lo molo no se a, o lo si o la mondro si la no la nana. Oh, glory, 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 glory to your Lord. How many feel God's about to do something new over your life? I'm almost finished. I'm not going to be long. I was going to go into the word, but when I got up, I just felt the anointing to prophesy. And the verse I was going to use, just remain standing. I don't want you to get too comfortable. I want to stir you up. The verse I wanted to use tonight was, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. This verse challenged me years ago. And the Lord told me this. He said, son, I want you to speak as if I'm speaking. He said, too many men are speaking what they think and their traditions and their ideas the reason it challenged me was because I, how could I, when I open my mouth, speak as if God is speaking? You mean, Lord, you want me to actually, when I open my mouth and minister, to speak as if you're speaking? What a, what a level of anointing that you can actually speak as if God is speaking. And when you minister to people, you can speak to them as if God is speaking to them. And the reason why we have a difficult time with this is because we're human. We, we know we have our ideas and our thoughts. But the reason why God baptizes you in the Holy Ghost is not so you can just speak in tongues every now and then. The reason why God filled you with the Holy Ghost is to anoint you to be his spokesman and his voice in the earth. Amen. And as a preacher, I cannot stand here and give you what I think God is saying or what I want to say. I can't give you my religion and my tradition. When I open my mouth, I got to believe that the anointing of God in my, in my belly will come out and begin to flow through my lips. And when the word of the Lord comes, it will liberate, set people free, heal, deliver. Come on. People will get healed. The reason why people are not receiving miracles today is because everybody's speaking what they want to say. But when you begin to trust God to give you a word... God will cause you to speak as his mouthpiece in the earth and you can go into territories that are full of darkness and open your mouth and say, thus saith the Lord and begin to shatter the strongholds of hell. Come on, if you believe that, put those hands together and begin to thank God. When you begin to speak as the oracle of God, as the mouthpiece of God, you'll begin to see miracles, signs, wonders, and breakthroughs. So I say, Lord, I refuse to just be another preacher. That stands in the pulpit and gives a poem and a sermonette and passes out chicklets after the service. Amen. Lord, I, when I stand, I want to be your mouthpiece. When I open my mouth, I want, I want you to speak. I want you to put your word in my mouth and in my belly so much that when I open my mouth, God is even no longer me talking, it's you talking. And I want you to talk to people all over this planet, all over this world, and I want them to hear your voice. And when they hear your voice, I want them to be, receive miracles and healings and signs and wonders and breakthroughs because I'm here to tell you tonight, when the word of the Lord comes over your life, you will 
will never be the same. Amen. When you encounter God's word and when you encounter a servant of God that has the word of God in his mouth and that man or that woman begins to speak, your life will be changed. Your life will be transformed. You cannot remain the same. Remember when Saul met the company of the prophets, the Bible says he was turned into another man and he began to prophesy, get ready to be turned into another man, another woman in this place. God's about to change you because you're coming into contact with men and women who have the word of the Lord coming out of their mouth. If you believe that tonight, lift your voice and shout hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout glory. Oh, oh Father, we thank you. <laughs> oh, lift your hands one more time. I'm almost finished. I just want to prophesy a little more. Mm. The Lord said, I'm getting ready to pour my word in your mouth and in your lips and in your tongue. And the Lord said, many of you are going to begin to speak in ways you've never spoken before. And I'm going to be able to cause you to utter things in your territory that men have not uttered in generations. And the Lord said, words are coming forth in your city that have not been heard in weeks and years and even generations. And the Lord said, that word is going to begin to shake that territory. And you're going to begin to see change and revival and glory. The Lord said, many of you are going to speak in ways that you've never spoken before. Because tonight, the Lord said, I'm dropping my word from heaven. And the Lord said, now the Nataf anointing is falling on the church. And the Lord said, now the word is dropping from heaven upon my people. And the Lord said, I'm going to put my word in your mouth as I put it in the mouth of Jeremiah. And when you speak, the Lord said, you shall root out. You shall tear down. You shall throw down. You shall destroy, but you shall also build and plant. And your word shall come forth to destroy the works of darkness. But I'll also put a word in your mouth that will build and plant in every territory that is represented here tonight. And the Lord said, now go back to your cities and go back to your regions. And when the enemy said you no longer need to speak up the Lord says stand up in your pulpits and stand up in your communities and begin to say thus say of the Lord and the Lord said do not be afraid and do not hold back for as you speak and release my word you're going to begin to see healings and miracles and signs and wonders in your territory the Lord said for too long my people have allowed the enemy to shut their mouth but now I anoint your lips and your tongue with a new anointing and now you shall speak as the oracle of God so get ready ready open your mouth and I will fill it and as you release my word you will see change and you will see breakthrough even in difficult places even in hard places for the Lord says a new boldness uh, is coming upon my ministers uh, and many have drawn back and say I won't speak anymore but well, the Lord said it's going to be like fire shut up in your bones uh, and when you wanted to stop I'm going to cause you to stand forth uh, and speak like you've never spoken before so get ready for the restoration of the preaching anointing uh, and get ready for the restoration of the prophetic anointing uh, and get ready for the restoration of the apostolic anointing uh, and get ready for the preachers to return and the prophets to return and the exhorters to return and the declarers to return. I'm putting my word in your mouth. Lift your hands tonight and let God drop a new word in your mouth as you lift your hands. Let it fall from heaven. Let it come into your lips. Let it come into your tongue even now. Thank you, Father. Say we receive tonight the word of the Lord. Let it come into my mouth. Let it come into my lips. Let it come into my tongue. I believe that God is dropping his word from heaven in my mouth. I will speak again. I'll prophesy again. I will decree again. I will not hold back. There is a new release of the glory of God in my life in 2014 I believe it today I receive it today and I release it today in Jesus name now put those hands together lift your voice with a shout of praise